start verse uh, start verse number six. It says, Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night. They that be drunken or drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with Him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even also as you do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them that labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble mind, and support the weak. Be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil to any man. But ever follow that which is good, both among, among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the Spirit, despise not the prophecies. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto you. All the holy brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the word and faith. Thank you today for those who are here, Lord, that have come out and shown their willingness to, Lord, be moved by the Spirit, to be, Lord, filled by the word, to be led by you today. Lord, we pray that if we need to change, we change. Lord, we pray if we need to add, we add. We pray today if we need to give up something. Lord, to be in thy will, Lord, we do this. Lord, we give it up without second thought to it today. Lord, we just need to know today in our heart of hearts, Lord, that you are most important. Your will, your desire upon us is more important than any other will. We ask these things in your precious name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. I am the, the pastor of this church and I'm very glad to be if you want to be baptized here, uh, most likely you're going to be baptized by me. But even though I can baptize you, and I have the, the power and authority under the Lord Jesus Christ to baptize you, I can't feel the, the tub. you understand this? I was banned from feeling the, the tub a couple of years ago. <laughs> So if I if you need to be baptized, I have to call on somebody else to fill up the tub. The reason that I cannot fill up the tub is because we found out that Patrick Salter is not very good at multitasking. When I would turn on the tub and go try to do something else in time and come back, when I come back, it would be flooded the church. I've done this not only once, the church forgives me. And still let me have that authority to fill up the tub. But the second time, they banned me from filling up the tub. Well, a couple years later, then there's a stain in the back if you want to check it out. But a couple years later, here we are, and I need to let the deacons know that I still don't have that ability. I was cutting a dog's hair this week, 
And I thought, well, while I'm cutting his hair, I'll go fill up the tub. And when I finish cutting his hair, the tub will be ready. I can just bathe him, right? If you cut his hair, you got to bathe him. I forgot the tub was running. <laughs> I flooded the bathroom, the bedroom. We no longer have carpet in our master bedroom or bathroom. And the reason is that I'm not a very good multitasker. Amen? Amen. Okay. Some things you should concentrate on. Some things, uh, you want to say anything about that? You, you good with what, everything I said? Go clean it up. I did, brother. Listen, some things are important. Some things should have your full attention. Let's say that. when This is something out of three times I ought to realize that when I'm trying to fill up a tub, it's important enough to have my full attention. I mean, it has cost me dearly. Let's say that again. It's cost me dearly not to have my attention trying to do too many things at one time. You know what? And today, we get too busy. I mean, that's where this multitasking business has come from. Uh, it, it's everything is it, trying to be quicker and easier that you can do two or three things at a time. And, you know, the reason we do this is because, you know, we, we want some time to ourselves. We want to get through with everything. We, we just have too much to do today. Sometimes we just have too much to do. And uh, this is what we've done. But what we have to realize is somewhere there's some things in there that are important that should have our full attention. And those things that should have our full attention is not given. When we look here in verse 10, something caught my eye. Just two words, but... It seems very important to me. It says, who died for us. Let's back up in verse 9. He talks about what we should do. It says, for God hath appointed us not to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. God didn't, in other words, God didn't put us here to destroy this place. The only thing that we He put us here is for a time to seek out and find salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. Man, if you don't get that one thing, if you don't attain that one thing in all of your life, you've wasted your whole life. 